How much math do you actually need for mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineers apply math and physics to optimal operation of mechanical equipment and processes and in systems such as energy, manufacturing, and mechatronics. So how much math do they really need to know? In university, mechies need to pass courses in calculus 1, 2, and 3, differential equations, and linear algebra. And in some programs, they also take probability and statistics and numerical analysis. In practice, this math comes in handy when mechies use multivariable calculus to optimize shape in vehicle design by minimizing drag and maximizing lift in the case of aircraft. Mechies use linear algebra to analyze forces and systems of equations to evaluate structural stability in mechanical systems at equilibrium. They use differential equations on rates of change and dynamic behavior, for example in understanding and analyzing behavior in vibrating systems such as car suspension. The Navier-Stokes equations are partial differential equations that describe fluid flow in pipes, pumps, and turbines, which help Mechies assess and prevent equipment failure due to undesirable conditions such as cavitation and water hammer. In sizing rotating equipment such as engines and gears, Mechies use vector math and differential equations to predict the motion of objects, making these the handiest math for plant design engineers. Nobody would call this math easy, but it helps a lot to get started as early as you can. So if your high school doesn't already offer advanced classes, you can try dual enrolling at a local community college. Or if you're good at self-teaching, then learn through free resources like Khan Academy and great YouTube channels like The Organic Chemistry Tutor. What should I cover next? Let me know in the comments.